Hi there again, this is Tim Blankenship, owner of SCV Legal Doc Assist. We're a licensed and bonded legal document preparation service specializing in divorce. Uh, this is part two of the marriage petition form FL100. Again, these are uh, videos uh, brought to you by the Contra Costa court website on how to prepare uh, judicial counsel forms in California. Uh, so this is part two of completing FL100. Now, let's move on to Form FL-100. The Petition for Dissolution, Legal Separation, or Nullity, Form FL-100, is a two-page document that may have one or more attachments. Fill in the caption, which is the set of boxes in the top of the first page. Review the segment on Filling Out Court Forms to learn how to do this. Note that you will not have a case number until you file your petition with the court. At that time, the clerk will give you a case number and stamp it on all the papers you file that day. The last box in the caption is for the title of the document. If you want a divorce, check the first box. If you want a legal separation, check the second box. And if you want an annulment, check the third box. To get a divorce in California, either you or your spouse must have lived in the state for the last six months and in the county where you file your case for the last three months. If you meet these requirements, check the first box in item one. If your spouse meets these requirements, check the second box. If you both meet these requirements, you can check both boxes. Note that if neither of you have lived in California long enough, then you don't qualify for a divorce, but you may qualify for a legal separation. So if you want, you can file now for a legal separation, and later, when you meet the residency requirements, you can amend, which means change, your petition to ask for a divorce. On item 2A, write the date you were married. On item 2B, write the date you and your spouse separated. Here, write how long you were married. Note that the date of separation and the length of your marriage are very important. The judge will use that information to make decisions about spousal support and about how to divide your property. Okay, this has been part two of how to complete the Form FL100 Divorce Petition. For more information, give me a call. Uh, my name is Tim, and we specialize in divorce. Uh, you can go back to part one if you've missed part one, or move on to uh, part three of completing the FL100. Thanks for watching.